Wait, no, you're... Mm. All right, well, welcome to hell. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, no, sorry, man. We're we're stuck in hell. Uh, God, now we're just going to be bored and awkward for, like, fucking hour yeah, long. This is going to last because there's no way we could keep conversation topics long enough. I mean, we could talk about Yakuza. We could talk about the fact I'm legally an orphan. If... <laughs> <laughs> Best way to start off a stream. <laughs> So anyway, I'm an orphan. Let's talk Yakuza. <laughs> yeah, so... Which is a game about an orphan. You see, it all works back. Ties together. Totally. It works. Oh, I got ah, oh. Hi. Hi, local. Hey, so... Did you, did you hey, think everybody. I would miss the stream? You think I'd miss the stream? I'm right here. You're sick. You already missed the fun part yeah. where I revealed I'm an orphan. Yeah. Yeah. Take, it, take it easy, local. <laughs> Yeah, hey. I think it's just the program itself. Hold on, because uh, I did do it. God, this. I think it might be just the program I'm using. Hmm. So the program I I was trying to use uh uh Crete. I think it's uh. I can't say it. It's like K R I T A. Krita. You yeah, Krita. Yeah, Krita. I was like, is that sound yeah. right or not? But, yeah, um, so right. <laughs> take, take it easy. The, yeah, I got a show. Okay, I got a show. I'm good. I'm good. So, All right. So, how how are you gonna be doing this? I'm trying. So, draw, anytime boy? I try to draw, it like there's always a delay. But when I tried on a whiteboard like um, website, it didn't have any delay at all. Um, I kind of suggest uh, a. Hold a fucking minute. Stand by. Standing by. I kind of suggest Far Alpaca if you want to start up. Start that up, you know? Yeah, no, Fire I got Alpaca. it up, but it's also having the delay as well whenever I try to, like, move my pen. Like, hold on. Let me turn on the stream for the Discord. Uh, Alright, let's uh, see what's there. So, I also huh. gotta change it for... Uh, poor Aiden. Aiden has school. Damn. Okay. Well, Imagine being there for right. school. Well, let's see what we have here. Uh, it's slowly loading. Fire up, uh, Okay, new. That. Like, anytime I try to do a line, it, like, sometimes doesn't even register. Hmm. Uh, wait a second. Do you have, like, a software installed for this, uh, drawing tablet you have? Ah, uh, fuck, I don't even think so. Hold on. <laughs> uh, it's much more smooth. Uh, you know all what? Alright, it's more smoother if it has that software. Uh, so what kind of drawing tablet are you using? Um, uh, Heon? A uh, Huion. Yeah, right. Huion. Alright, stand by. Huion draw. Stand by, stand by. Yeah, I am standing on the by. I'm by and standing by myself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let me just search for a. Uh... So, John, let's talk about you being a North. Ah, man, ah. let me tell you, I'm immune to your mom and your dad jokes. I am truly the perfect life force. You know, is John right. is technically an orphan. <laughs> Uh, I, I live with my stepdad, who technically never legally adopted me, and because I've lost both my biological parents, I'm legally an orphan. Yeah. Yay! Skip the orphanage, at least. Fair enough. Software. <sighs> now I can relate is... to Batman. <clears throat> I mean, you didn't. Did you watch them die? <laughs> uh, technically, sort of, and sort of no. Mm. Okay. It was a very weird situation with my biological father and with my mother. Technically, I was not there for the moment of her death, but I was seeing her decline. Died in her sleep. 
Oh, Jesus no, Christ. No, she literally just suddenly died in her sleep. She was only in her early 30s. She Yikes. just died Ow. one night out of nowhere. Yeah. They could not even give us a le a reason. So they just uh, chopped it up to her medication, despite the fact that had not changed in months. Hmm. Yeah, it, to say the least, it was a rather sudden event. I, I guess I never really talked about the actual events surrounding her death, did I? No, you actually never have with me, at least. Uh, so the night before, everything was perfectly normal. I had already, I was already in bed at this point because I was fucking ten or nine or something. Uh, so I was in bed, but apparently my older sister, my father, my mother, and some family friends were basically just relaxing in the dining room, sipping wine, talking, <laughs> having a perfectly normal night. My mother went to bed first, my father joined her after, everyone had left and all that. And in the morning, she was dead. Mm. It was completely out of nowhere. My dad knew something was wrong when he woke up and couldn't hear her snoring. So he checked her pulse and, well, yeah. Yikes. Two months before that, there was an incident where she wouldn't wake up for several hours. Like, after she had been asleep for nearly a full day. And we had to, and she, we took her to the ER, but she woke up just fine. And everything seemed normal after. So chalked it up to complications of you know exhaustion mm. and stress and shit yeah fair and uh, yeah a few months later that happens yeah. mm. i i don't know the full story of my biological father because i was only five when he died but he was an alcoholic with all uh, kinds of issues so it could have been fucking anything with him really fair enough yeah yikes i had a fucked up childhood yeah now, with my mom, uh, she was just straight up a full-on alcoholic to the point where we just could not help her anymore. So we left her behind and just moved away. She didn't want help. She didn't want help. We tried everything we could. Uh, she refused to get help, so we just left her. My dad made the big decision. Just We packed up and moved in with his parents in another uh, province. Uh, wait, province? Yeah, province. Hmm. Look, okay. I'm fucking Canadian. Yes, I know. I know you're Canadian, alright? You just had the... You also had the same blood as I do, goddammit. Alright, so anyway... Uh, moving my... on, okay, so what... What's the name of your, uh... Oh, my God. Kuyang I got, tablet I got, again? I got the firmware thing. Huh? The... Oh, the firmware thing uh. for the tablet. Oh, okay, good. Yep, I'm just downloading and installing it, just double-checking it. Yeah, because it really works well. I had that problem with like a uh, my my pen tablet. Well, simply I was on like a different hardware device or, or like a different computer, and now I have this like gaming laptop, which uh, like uh, requires me to install that software, so it moves a lot more smoother. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Don't don't. Yeah, no. Aren't you getting a new gaming laptop? Uh, I'm I already hoping did. to. It oh, likely uh, won't be for two months or so. Fair enough. Oh, damn. <laughs> it, it's not going to be a big improvement, but I physically need a new one because four keys on my keyboard no longer work. Yeah. Oh, hey. Shango's uh, here. Shango is in the stream. Yeah, no, they're saying they're at school and they're dying. Oh, yeah. fuck me. I, I, I... I'm sick right now. And, yeah. <laughs> Apparently the my device no device detected. Please confirm that your device is connected. What? It's like connected to your USB port, right? Hmm. Yep. Okay, I wonder. I'm sorry. For unrelated reasons involving an argument, I am looking at various types of sandwiches, and I have only just now found out French toast breakfast sandwiches are a thing. I did not know about that. I did not either, but that just, it either. makes sense now that I know about it. Like, why did I never think of that? Uh, fucking hell. Everything adds up. Also, I have found a sandwich that would kill Muse. Um, sorry. Yeah, most sandwiches can kill me. The toast sandwich. A piece of toasted bread in between two slices of bread. To double death sandwich. <laughs> That's just murder. <laughs> uh, man. Diabetic sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> 
diabetes take the wheel. So anyway, I ate a Snickers. You're not you when you're hungry. You're not you you when you're hungry. Have a heart attack. Thine stroketh. Hey. Thine stroketh thine. <clears throat> anyway. Slowly struggling. Suffer. Slap it at me, use. Slap it at me, use to kill. Like, oh, that kind of oh god, one oh, day we meet, and the first thing I do is I just throw a slice of toast in your face. Second, Quickly throw the egg, he's allergic. So there's a story behind that. Okay, so basically we were in a DMD server and uh, there was a fucking spell in the, in a system called Pathfinder, which is it's sort of a spin-off from DMD technically, but it's an entirely different thing. It's weird. Anyway, there's a spell called Poison Egg. And it explicitly states within the rules of the spell. That once the poison has worn off, it is no longer effective against anything that is not weak to egg. There is no creature egg. in Pathfinder that is weak to egg. Egg. <laughs> so, so basically, egg. we were all fucking joking around, and then it came up that Beckley he has celiac disease. Throw the egg. That's not even what, That's that, not that, even what that means. And that was how that conversation went, and it was a fantastic time in a fucking Discord call. Yep. It was I true. miss Pathfinder with the boys. I do too, but you know what? However, one of them... Oh, that reminds me, by the way. Our, uh, the, the GM Pickle, I introduced you to him. I, I don't know how much you talk to him, but he's, uh, he's about to actually get his degree and become a teacher. Nice. Hey! Yeah. Wait, I gotta test something real quick. I got... <clears throat> Uh, one sec. <laughs> there we go. For those who want a fun John fact, uh, I played a in that same Pathfinder server. Actually, I was uh, it was a bunch of friends of mine specifically, and uh, I was the least qualified person to be in a room that has no qualifications. I was with a twenty-eight. I was playing Pathfinder with a twenty-eight-year-old fucking IT tech manager for fucking McDonald's. A EMT, a loan office worker, and a fucking, uh, basically homeroom teacher. And then there was me. Mm -hmm. All of them were nearly f at least five years older than me. Mm -hmm. To say the least, mm -hmm. I was having a good time. And yet and you were the most running. sensible. Weirdly enough, really you're nice. not wrong. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. out of the entire group, John was for some reason the most sensible. I was often a yeah. weirdly responsible one. And usually you're not. Ironically, yeah. I weirdly am at a lot of times. I have this weird most knack for being most... oddly responsible among people. Sometimes the yeah, most chaotic of individuals can be the ones who sustain the most order within their group. So here's the funny thing. When I am surrounded by chaotic people, for some reason, my inerrant instincts just change to be a fucking father reigning in the fucking children on a leash. Yeah. And I have become quite good at that over time. Shockingly. Yeah, no, it's weird. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, as Bees can attest, I have simultaneously on numerous occasions been the most responsible man in the room and a fucking chaotic borderline toddler just living to cause, he cause hell oh, everywhere what? I go. I don't know how it's possible. That's a negative and a negative. That's equivalent like a positive. I am somehow both simultaneously the most responsible okay. and least responsible man you knows, I'm pretty sure. Okay, I gotta test something against a standby. It better, like, cover your ears if you don't want your... Okay. <laughs> Y'all better be covering your ears, alright. Sound of can. Okay, abuse, break, brace yourself. <laughs> Did it end? Nope. <laughs> don't worry. It, don't worry. You could not. You could barely. You, it sounded like he was in like another room. <laughs> like listen to it on the stream. Listen to it on the stream. Nah, I'm good. No, no, no. I, 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 I caught the latter end of it. Yeah. Uh. You know, I gave up, so I'm just like trying to do what I can. Hey, local. Do you want to hear about the time an entire fucking what? city filed for bankruptcy? Damn it. <laughs> Damn it, it didn't, like, pick up. Let me just, uh, try it again. Nah, John, actually, John, maybe, John. Maybe. 
Hold on, hold on. Before so, anyone does anything, I have a very important story to tell. Uh, Detroit actually went bankrupt in 2013. Fucking hell. The entire city. You really can't have shit in Detroit. Can't have shit in Detroit. The thing is, the reason why we bring this up is because I was actually just scrolling on YouTube for the stream. And literally, the there was a there was there was a um, uh, video of the Detroit Fire Department uses a fucking fax machine and a Coca a diet Coca Cola can to tell when there's a fire. But I should clarify that oh. video was from Dude, during you, the bankruptcy. Yeah, of you really can't have shit in Detroit. Oh my god! You really imagine someone steals the soda can. Well, well, no, 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 and someone that, just steals probably... the fucking video and it's just a blank screen. <laughs> Imagine! Dude, that's just it, that's just it. The, the toy is literally just already in a state of anarchy, that's already, it's already gone, so, dude. It's imagine gone. for a moment, the most chaotic evil thing you can do, you go to the Detroit Fire Department, you go in, you quietly steal the, co uh, the fucking Coke can, and then you leave. <laughs> And then just no one will respond to the fires, so you can just go commit as much arson as you want. Wait, 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 wait. John, John, mute yourself. You. Mute yourself for a bit. I'm gonna release something real quick. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Ready? Hold on. Hold on. Okay. John, you ready? <laughs> Did it work? Did it work? I, I have think no idea. Well, let me just. John, you're good. For those unaware, Johnny Boy is sensitive to loud noises. Yeah. Undiagnosed tism, presumably. I don't think I've ever talked about uh, since we're doing a podcast. I don't think she would care if I told her the stories not about the autistic raccoon. An autistic raccoon. Yeah. Uh, also known as my ex, Megan. Uh, Wonderful Wait, lady, why? very nice. Uh, my ex, very good friend of mine, I call her the Autistic Raccoon. It was a uh, thing, we became good friends after. Uh, she is the pinnacle of autism and just body horror, combined in one. Her body Jesus does not crunch. When she tans, her skin turns blue. I had to inform her she has a silver buildup in her skin. Mother Christ. Uh, also, she had... Horrific growth spurts to the point it was actual body horror. She would lay in bed and hear her bones break and crack as they were physically Jesus growing Christ. inhumanly fast. Also, her joints Man. occasionally just come out of their socket while she's doing nothing at all. The amount of times she has called me and been like, so anyway, my knee uh, left the socket again. All she was doing was going for a walk. Oh, she's also become a cryptid in her town. That's another fun story. Really? Apparently, she was in a long white dress, and she was going to a gra going to the graveyard there because apparently, it's one of the few places no one will fucking bother her. I didn't want to ask questions <laughs> about what that meant at the time, and yeah. apparently, uh, a bunch of people showed up, and she has social anxiety and other things, so she didn't want to deal with people at the time. Mm -hmm. So she hid behind a grave. And apparently some of the guys saw her long ass fucking lanky noodle arm, pale as fucking snow, hanging over a grave. And all these motherfuckers thought there was a cryptid and started running. And after that, rumors in her town have been spreading about a cryptid in the fucking graveyard. And this is an actual thing that made it in their local newspaper. Really? Yes. She wow. has never told anyone about this except me. Damn. That is I insane. Fucking, it is fucking hilarious because now people people were literally like for weeks going to that graveyard in groups at night with flashlights and shit trying to find a fucking cryptid or a skinwalker. That, is that was hilarious. an actual thing. It was fucking hilarious. Yeah, that is insane. <laughs> she has that so is, many uh, insane stories. Wow. Her grandmother was a cult leader. That doesn't surprise me in the least. I know, right? The more you learn about her, the less surprising all of it becomes. Yeah. So, yeah. Wow. I, I, fucking fantastic woman. Drive through Van in the Discord server for anyone who cares. She's talked about, uh, she's talked a fair bit in the uh, venting chat. Very, very nice girl. Send her some love. Mm hmm. Tell her, tell her she's looking great today or something. I don't know. Try not to be creepy about it. 
Jesucristo. <laughs> the first topic like, nice is the autistic raccoon. I would also like to clarify, autistic raccoon is her self-given nickname. She gave that to herself. She would literally get on all fours and gnaw on fucking leather. I, I don't know what to tell you other than there is a reason for it. Mm -hmm. Apparently, she just finds that comforting. You just go all animal, and you know what? I respect it. I mean, to be fair, I used to gnaw on, like, the, you know, those strings for, like, sweaters to, like, tighten up the hoodie. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but did you get on all floors and just run around the fucking building like an absolute rabid animal while chewing on it? Uh, when I was a child, yes. Fuck yeah! Concrete. My man! <laughs> oh my god. Dab yep. me up. Dab, 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 dab. You know what, I, I might actually, hold on, you know what, I might just say fuck it, I'll use a white, like, the whiteboard app. Oh dear god. Oh uh, wait. I'm like trying my best. Did you like check the opacity? Did you like check the opacity? The opacity of the pen? Yeah. Yeah, I know. No, I know the opacity yeah. is low because like I'm trying to like make an outline, but like fucking Christ, I am like it it just hmm. lags behind. Hmm. It's weird. Like when I'm trying to do like curves, like you can see there's like a delay at the very start of the curve and it just makes like a straight line. Alright, hmm. right, hold a second, I gotta uh, what the fuck? I really need a splitter cable. Oh my god. Been there. Uh, thank you for relating. Hey. Don't worry, man. I got you. I'm gonna relate so hard. You'll never feel so related. I might to. just you know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna try to draw an eye. That, that's all I'm gonna do. <laughs> okay. I got. I'm got, I got to see how this goes. I gotta see how this. Goes. Goes. Hold on, let me clear off this layer. Okay, hello. Okay, so whenever I try to draw like a curve, like. Oh, God. Okay, I'm sorry, I have a very important news. You remember the toast sandwich I mentioned oh, earlier? Yes, Apparently, yes. Gordon Ramsay legitimately is considering putting it on his menu. Toast sandwich. Yo, do you have yeah. like a stabilizer? Or something? I'm Stabilizer. sorry, boob cakes. Thank you, software. random news website, for introducing uh, me to this. For this, for uh, Gita? Or Kirita? Kirita, yeah. Yeah, uh, for Kirita. I don't know if there's a stabilizer. Hmm. Now. Okay, I'm gonna switch back to Fire Alpaca. <laughs> there's like a stabilizer that helps smoothen out your strokes. For, for any uh, non-artists in the chat who are also as confused as I am, let's go. So, watch and learn, you uneducated, uh, fuck no. you. You will <laughs> learn whether you like it or not. Oh my <laughs> god, that was the worst case of why did that have to be so far up on the chat log? Jesus Christ. What? Uh, I just saw Jacob in another chat. Nobody knows which chat who the fuck Jacob is, so I don't yeah. think it matters if I say his name, but, uh... Yeah. uh he yeah, was he, I just saw him send a number? message say, and hold my on, nine-year-old on, daughter... Do you see the hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 let, let me talk, talk to John first. Uh, uh, uh Jacob said, and my nine-year-old daughter caught leprosy. <laughs> and I'm just like, what the fuck? See, see, eh? he see, no... Up, he was talking about a game, and I'm just like, Jesus Christ, <laughs> man, lead with that! See, knowing me, I would've just said, like, <laughs> and my dad, the nine year old daughter caught leprosy. And I'm like, what the fuck? Okay, stabilizer. Oh, what did I miss? Stabilizer, switch that to like the number, like num around number 18. That's how I usually do the strokes. Okay, 18. See, you can, whenever I try to do like a curve, you can see like at the start of the curve, there's like a little bit yeah, of like, delay. Yeah, I can see it. Actually, wait, this, like... wait, why is it so much smoother now? Why is it not jolting? Hold on, let me turn this up all the way. Oh, I just yeah, realized, uh, uh, our main man Muse is drawing an eye. I have something I can send him that's very apt for this, uh, not to be right up the working well for oh. you, brother? Beer? Oh, uh, hold on. Yeah, no, whenever I'm trying to, like, make a quick curve, it's like... I don't know why. It's So it's not the pen that's causing it. 
I bought like a whole new pen because of this issue. The software, the uh, pinners. Yeah. I mean, like the software for the tablet. Did you, did you try checking it? Uh, I'd have to restart the entire computer, so I'm like saying, "Fuck it, no." <laughs> do it. No, I'm, I'm not restarting the fucking computer right now. I'll do that next week. <laughs> Next stream, then how are you gonna make some progress? Actually, you know what? Uh, it, I mean, you do what you gotta do, man. Because, like, if I have to restart the entire computer, that it's like, well, it's already 11 p.m., that's like, I'm not gonna be able to get another stream going right away. Alright, well, uh, just start with what you yeah. got, and then. I'm just gonna. Eventually. Okay. Yo, fuck it. So, we're gonna start off with. Okay, let 10. him cook, guys. Let, let him cook. Mm. Oh, hey, Basil's in the cook. chat. <laughs> Basil. Basil, is in the chat. Uh, sadly, it isn't the Basil from the Deep Woken chat. It is I, only... I'm so sad he's never got to meet that Basil. Hmm? Uh, uh, unfortunately, he's never got to meet uh, Basil Cat from the fucking Deep Woken server. Oh, yeah. God, they were OP as fuck, and <laughs> none of us could figure out why. Basil is Basil. Basil could li Basil literally ran our shit into the ground with the basic weapons and didn't even know how the fuck they did it. And I'm just like, I don't know if I'm bad or if you're just goaded. He's both. Exactly. Uh, Basil was a they did. They're both. Well, actually, actually, they kind of just said call them whatever the fuck. They don't care. So yeah, fuck it. It works. Yeah, no. Didn't they say like anytime try one try to guess their um, gender? They're like Basil was Basil. Oh uh, yeah, Basil that was the a running joke. Uh, they did. Oh, they did say they were a guy though. But they, they still were just like call me whatever the fuck you want. I don't care. So for a while, Basil was she. Then it was they. Then it turned to he. And then it was just Basil, because we all just gave the fuck up. Basil is based. Basil is Her based. Basil is based. Based is little. Bust. Basil. They also played the fucking Neko race in Deep Woken, which was even better. I also, it, I also, it also made me realize I'm a fucking idiot, because they kept doing parkour, and all of us were like, how the hell? And then it's like, oh wait, the race with a boost of climbing. Of course. Hmm. We're just all a bunch of idiots, and Basil was based. The amount of stories I could tell, and the fact that every time I'm in one, when it's told about me, I'm for some reason played up as vastly better than I am. Yeah, well, let's talk about Deep Woken stories. Uh, uh, so there was the time in which I apparently walked in... <laughs> I, I, I just remembered the way he fucking phrased it. <laughs> what? Do we care about being PG? We talked about uh, an autistic not. raccoon. Yeah. That That's entirely fair. So, uh, James, whenever he tells the story of how I fucked up a guy named Chris who was a massive dick and we eventually banned him, it's kind of annoying. Uh, he kept talking mad shit and uh, eventually, I had had enough of his ass, so he decided to run one with me on the fire trainer, uh, the fire attunement trainer mountain. Where, you know, it's like above the water. Oh, this is before they changed yeah. the map, for the record. Yep. So yeah. Uh, so I proceeded to one v one him. I was using the basic starter dagger, the weakest fucking weapon in the entire game. I forget what he was using. I think he was using a spear or something. Mm -hmm. uh, he was two levels above me. I was like level five. He was level seven. This is back when the I think this is just before uh, level twenty change. Or it might have uh, been that was that was pre um two worlds. Yeah, that was pre yeah that was pre level twenty uh change. So yeah, so this was like super weak and low level territory, but it was like still a substantial difference of power. Mm -hmm. And I proceeded to kick his fucking ass into the ground. I put his ass in the fucking blender spin cycle and just threw him. And, uh, after he was on the ground, James was just like, holy fuck. It was just a whole fucking thing. Everyone was kind of losing their shit, because, well, you know, mm -hmm. I just absolutely wrecked his ass while he was talking shit, so we were all fucking dogging on him. Mm -hmm. And, uh, 
I carried him over to the fucking uh, side of the mountain after James handed me his body to parade around or do as I please with. And James kept joking, like, oh, you should kill him, throw him off, and all this. And then finally, I was like, hey, you know what? Who's the fucking street rat king? And because there was a running joke that I was just a fucking street rat because every time we were in any sort of fight, my first instinct was, okay, so that's why escape route. Yep. I was always just an absolute rat willing to get the fuck out of Dodge and leave everyone behind. Yep. And they were all well aware of this, and I had been nicknamed the Street Rat King. Yep. And Chris was trying to claim my fucking title, which is how the whole fight ended up starting. So I said, who's the fucking Street Rat King? Got him to admit it to it, called me the Street Rat King, then I threw him off the ledge anyway, and he fucking died. Nice. And James was absolutely losing his shit, and every time he's ever told that story since, the way he described it is, you walked into his house, fucked his bitch, made him call you daddy, and then still killed him. Yeah. That and is... I swear to God, James was my ultimate hype man. Yeah, no. Because when I told the story as it happens, it doesn't sound the most exciting. Then he tells the story and I'm a fucking god, apparently. I mean, technically you are. That is fair. I am the best. And now it is time for me to fucking die. All right, I'll see you guys in like another oh, stream yeah. or something. Or I, yeah. Yeah, I don't know, I'm gonna yeah. fuck. Well, take care, local. Commit genocide. Uh, you motherfuckers. Uh, anyways, <clears throat> John, cover your ears. Yeah. Uh, oh, well, well, that was more tame than usual. Yeah, I'm disappointed now. Yeah, yeah, no, but get get that man back in here. Get that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> that, that motherfucker better come back anyway. He is a bit. Uh. But yeah, among the numerous Deep Woken stories, I think my favorite is the time there was three level, f uh, the equivalent of what's modern level 15 in Deep Woken. We were all like level <laughs> upper 40s and shit. Yep. And uh, Brady, this is the first time I actually met Brady. Mm -hmm. He just showed up, but at. Fucking. Who fucking summoned me? <laughs> oh, oh, you you didn't do you didn't do your loud one. You're just like, eh. like we nah, were, like. Nah, really I appreciate I you did it for my sake, but still. Yeah, but seriously, without a splitter cable, I can't really scream as loud as I can. You know. Oh, fair uh, enough. That's fair. Hold on, let me do it for you. <laughs> okay, John, cover, John, turn me down. Try to that. Okay, that that wasn't yep. so bad. Yeah, that was fine. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> continue. Anyway, moving. So, uh, the first time I met uh, Brady, who was this fucking insane deep booking player we know, uh, mm -hmm. he showed up. Three of us were like the equivalent of modern level 15, which at the time was like level 40. Yep. He proceeded to run our shit in starter gear with a basic greatsword. Mm -hmm. He absolutely ran fucking hands with two of us at once and one at level one. Mm -hmm. And that was my introduction to Brady. And ever since, apparently he's got it in his mind that I am somehow a match for him in combat. And it scares me. And then I'm just not one for PvP. Yeah. I, for some reason, was considered good at the game when I was objectively not. You know, anytime um, he, tr like, he sees me, he just always wants to fight specifically me. It's because he it's because he knows you and I are relatively even on the power scale, and he's beat me before. So he's after you to prove that he's the best. Which I can't blame it, dude dude's like you know, mm -hmm. kinda hard to be mad at him. Yeah. But like at the same time, I'm like I'm not one for PvP. Yeah. I'm... You have a fucking minor heart attack every time we do PvP. I mean at the same time it's like I worked so hard for that level and like all that gear, yeah. I'm not one to lose it and all. And then there's me who will throw away a build in five seconds if I find it funny. Yeah. Which I have done on numerous occasions. I mean to be fair, usually I'm the one with the enchants on me. Yeah. So it's like I don't want to lose all care. those. Oh that reminds me, uh, did we get my stuff from my Tehran ever? No. Fuck. Oh, well. As long as it's face washed, it doesn't die. I don't know if it ever was face washed, actually. God. You know what? We'll, we'll deal with that either tomorrow night or another night. <laughs> another day, another time. We already yeah. missed out on the uh, Halloween. Yeah, no. Um, what's it called? Oh, yeah. I, I found out the new crit for the um, lance. Or for the spear. Well, 
No. Um, it basically kind of like so if it contacts with an opponent, it will basically oh yeah, deep woken up. We never explained what that was. <laughs> Uh, who cares? Um, so if you throw the spear at what? someone, so instead of like actually latching on and pulling the person towards you, it explodes yeah. them upwards and does a second explosion upward. Oh, cool. Um, the fist also have a double win, or have a different crit as well. Neat. Oh, and Duke drops a new weapon. Oh? Yeah, I, uh, it's like a, it's a great hammer, but fucking <laughs> Christ, it has a different crit than any other hammer we've seen. Neat. I haven't seen it personally, but it has a different crit. Hmm. Okay. So that might be interesting to do, and I think we can uh, act we can actually solo it with just me and you. Uh, we can. It's just rough, and we both need decent ish builds. I have the Ganymede. Yeah, I I also need to make a tankier build than I normally do for that. Yeah. No. Ganymede. Doesn't... Usually... Yeah. yeah. No. Ganymede. Uh, I also probably us. need some caffeine. Yeah. No, get me uh, used to carries us. So, yeah, I have avoided my feeling my caffeine addiction for quite a while. Fair so enough. Been, it actually hasn't been hard. I think I don't think I was necessarily addicted. I think it's literally just it helps me function. So yeah. not having it sucks. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, I'm, also, those energy. I'm up. Quickly, be right back. You entertain chat. Okay, so let me tell you about the time we measured our. Video games. Uh, hmm. I'm sure, I have a funny story somewhere in my head. Ah, uh, yes. The moth genocide of Deep Woken, when I just repeatedly killed views like 15 times. Absolute genocide. And it's filled our guild base with goddamn dead moth corpses. Which was a hilariously stupid incident, and I feel like I need to double clarify this. Woken, uh, you don't kill me. I don't need I'm these back. YouTube. I don't need YouTube's assassins coming after me for say talking about genocide. What? Uh, I talked about the moth genocide. Oh yeah. Fun time. Um. Yeah. Um, I know this is be okay. I'm sorry. I know this is because you. Uh, you are doing obviously the basic lighting stuff, mm -hmm. but you're remi I'm reminded of uh, um, more. Uh, fuck, why can't I remember? Combat, uh, madness, combat. Yeah, yeah, I'm reminded of that because that's the thing they do with the bases. Yeah, yeah, I know no. that's just technically because of lining, but still. Yeah, I know. No worries. I'm just reminded of that. And oh yeah, no. Um, what's it called? Um, if you actually look in fan art, um, what's it called? Uh, Taco used to actually do that. Neat. Yeah, no. Take a look. There's actually um, a, um an old one she did of me as a dill. <laughs> but you are a dill. I mean, yeah, I do have kids. <laughs> Technically, oh god, I just re remembered. I'm, I'm. Oh god, oh the family tree is so fu is more fucked than goddamn. Uh... Alabama. Fair enough. Well, to be fair, we're not, we don't call ourselves biological products. We're just homies and bros. Yeah, I mean, we were, we were. Uh, we, we, we changed it, don't worry. We, we retconned it. A, we, we retconned the family tree, so it's not Alabama. Yep, no, we, I retconned it, don't worry. Uh, and how to draw. I love, I love being her uncle husband. <laughs> oh, so, uh,. <laughs> Bibiana, I do not know how to draw a hand professional. I, I, I literally do not. I'm trying to learn how to draw in general. Yes, we are. This is a learning experience. Literally, it is starting from square zero. Shouldn't we have a teacher here for this to help you? No. <laughs> this, this, I we, know, how we, are we learning anything here, then? It's just practice. I got references. I mean, that's fair. You know, I got references. Quickly, bring up your better YouTube videos. Oh, no, you mean how to basic? <laughs> I always forget how to basic exists. How yeah. many April Fool's face reveals has been done by this point? Aren't we on like five or six? Yeah. Ah, good times. Mm -hmm. Good man. Was it binging with Babish one of them? I forget. Vsauce was also one of them. Oh, yeah. Vsauce, how to basic here. 
Vito's always, is always nice. I so here's the thing. I've never actually watched Vsauce genuinely. I've just seen clips of Vsauce. Oh, I That's have as well. All I need. Hey, Vitos, Michael here. When will you die? <laughs> right now. Oh god, this just reminded me of scarce. Hmm. God, remember when YouTube drama channels were fucking everywhere and unavoidable? Teamstar. Back in like yeah, he still exists, miraculously. There's a... Despite the fact that he's kind of just a piece of shit. Yeah, no, he's been cancelled multiple times. Literally, he has been cancelled 30 times by now. So... All for very good reasons, and so, yet he still comes back. So I found a, um, a drama person that's like Keemstar, but at the same time actually does work. Like, he doesn't show himself, he just talks about the drama that's actually happening, and like, um like what's actually going on in all the facts you see the only drama youtuber i watch is moist critical because god yeah. anytime he talks about shit going on you know it's funny <laughs> and important basil and jad hey vsauce michael here your house is safe or is it <laughs> hey vsauce michael here where are your hands hey vsauce michael here where is your life savings in my bank account we both know that's a lie, and you know it. <laughs> you want to know what my life savings is right now? About a hundred dollars. You know what? That's more than I expected. That's uh, that's how much I have to feed myself for the rest of the month. God, I just made him look sleep deprived. You made him look. Oh, oh it reminds me of something very old, and I could not tell you what it was. I feel like an old YouTuber from, like, the Newgrounds era. God, Newgrounds. Newgrounds still exists, actually. I know. As most people know, exclusively because of Friday Night Funkin'. Yep. Fun fact, Pico and him are at were actually officially canon. Eh. You know, the creator of Pico actually indulged in it and for an April Fool's update for our Valentine's Day. They made, like, uh, Pico School love and something, and boyfriend appeared as his lover. That's fair. So officially, they have been together, and got, um, and they broke up. Good for them. Yep. Hope they have better people. Pico's still single. BF got the girlfriend. The demon. Yeah, but also, is that necessarily better people? Because he's had to do a lot of fighting for those hoes. Yeah. Makes you wonder how worth it is. I mean, it's them devil pussy, the forbidden puss. What do you expect? The dussy. <laughs> the demosi. The sukusi. Oh god, okay, we should stop. Is she a succubus? Okay, <laughs> that's, a, that's... That kind of demon. That we don't know. However. That... However. Yes. <laughs> however. Vsauce, Michael here. <laughs> Where are your... Where hey. is your hands? <laughs> oh, right. They're mine. God damn it. <laughs> sauce. Michael here. Where's your soul? See. <laughs> oh, man. When you roll... When you get a fresh calzone and it just becomes that calzussy. Fun fact. That is actually what it is called. I know! It's great! I'm telling chat the that. Zussi. The Kelzusi. Yep. Oh yes, I have to inform chat of the fact Samurai's Victorian era English gentleman and also the Wild West cowboy all existed at the exact same time. Oh god. For a span of 30 years, Victorian era England, the age of the Samurai, and the American Wild West were happening all at once. There was a 30-year overlap between those three things. And that is just something everyone has to know now. Yep. Uh, so a samurai, a British gentleman, and a cowboy walk into a bar. God. Each one as confused as the last. God fucking damn it, John. <laughs> In a weird way, that's just a D&D &D plot. Yeah. You know, I never so understood. Samurai, for some reason, Victorian era English British gentleman and 
a wild west cowboy slinging dynamite is it, walk into wait, a bar. Wait, 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 wait. Isn't just the British gentleman just the Kingsman? <laughs> that, yeah, that is fair. Take Country that. home. Country Take me home. Road, copyright me. Yeah, no. Suck my dick. God, I, I, God, the fucking... That scene was still kind of sad. It was so good and so depressing. Yeah. Like, Bob Man did the ultimate sacrifice and it was glorious. While singing Country Roads, too, which is a whole extra layer of props. Yep. It wasn't Good out man. shit. Like, it was, like, it was awesome. It was good shit, man. It was. Honestly, I need to rewatch Kingsman. Yeah, no. Um, a um, a new one came out a while back. Oh, really? Yeah, no, it's about, um, what's his name? Uh, do you know his mentor from Kingsman 1? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, um, it's back when he first joined, when Kingsman was first founded. Ah, sweet. Yeah. Neat. I'm, like, trying to figure yeah. out, like, how the fuck am I supposed to do this? Mm. Doing bodies is not my thing. <laughs> it's mine! Get the fuck out. <laughs> Okay. Your ma. Fair enough. Cause I don't have one. Technically, I don't either. Biologically, you do. She's dead to me. She is dead to me. Oh, okay. I was about to be like, oh, what the fuck happened? What, what did I miss? Hmm. She's dead to you, but technically still better than what I have, which is not. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, I could get real existential right now, but I shall avoid that in the favor of good-natured fun. Fair enough. Nose. <laughs> he looks so... I feel like he looks better without a nose. You're not wrong, specifically in this art style. Yeah. Oh yeah, did you hear about uh, the new law passing in Japan that could genuinely kill anime? Oh? Uh, they released a law that has to do with taxes where basically it, it was going to... Rec I don't know the full specifics, it's complicated and a, lo and a long thing, but the basic thing is it's going to basically make it so all manga authors and VTubers, technically too, are basically going to have their identities forcibly revealed. Yeah. And it is people in a bad way. Because for those who don't know, the people who make manga use fake names. Aliases. Entirely. Yeah. Uh, some of them don't. I believe uh, Akira Toriyama and uh, fucking... Uh, oh, God. I, I forget the name of the guy who did uh, JoJo's. Mm. Uh, but, yeah, I believe those two especially use their real names. But they're, uh, Most manga authors un go by aliases for personal safety reasons, because, you know, you don't want... A lot of times you don't want the emote, like, uh... The My Hero fame. Academia community on your doorstep. Exactly. <laughs> uh, and also because, keep in mind, most people who spend 80% of their life inside writing and painting, drawing, whatever book manga, you're probably not a very social butterfly type person. Mm -hmm. you, you probably like your privacy. VTubers have three times as much reason to be fucking terrified. Yep. And I, I feel really bad for them, and I hope they're able to fight that law, because that's going to be detrimental to their health. Yep. And that could genuinely end up killing people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, terrifying. because there are, especially Melody. Uh, is Project Melody the Japanese? I don't know. I don't think she is. Mm. I'm pretty sure she's American, so I'm pretty sure she's okay from this, at least. Oh, something. yeah. Fair enough. She, uh, God, I haven't actually heard about her in ages, but I haven't really been following that space as much. Fair enough. I don't know either. I will check. She's probably still doing porn. Fair enough. I made sure to make this not for kids, so don't worry. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, yeah. She's still going. Hmm. Yeah, no, I haven't oh, heard. Oh, God. Kiryu Coco, the one who got all kinds of fucked over. Hmm. Uh, apparently, 
there was an incident where she mentioned Taiwan. Mm -hmm. And if you don't know, you're not allowed to do that. Oh. Uh, if you acknowledge Taiwan as its own country, China fucking mass blocks you. Really? And you get in a lot of trouble if you do that while under a corporation. John Cena had to make a public apology to China to save his livelihood in that in that entire country. Hmm. Oh yeah, was it was it was it, was it was it during the bean chilling thing? Uh, I don't know. I I don't know the specifics, but yeah. So Kiryu Koko, uh, ac uh, I say accidentally, she made the mistake of acknowledging a country as a country. Uh, I, I'm taking a fucking side here. Fuck China. Uh, I don't think that's a particularly hot take, but uh, I'm taking my stand here. She made she mentioned Taiwan, and because of it, Hollow Live, her overarching corp uh, a company that basically owned her image and all that, uh, completely fired her. Just got rid of her suddenly because of it. Mm. A lot of people thought it was because she was the one who said the N word live on stream. While uh, yeah, yeah, she was that one while playing GTA. Uh, to her credit, that everyone kind of universally understood she didn't mm -hmm. fucking understand English. Mm -hmm. So and, it's kind of hard to blame her. And plus, sometimes the N word does mean something else in other languages. Uh, it, it literally means black, and uh, yeah, so it, it's complicated. Well, not, you, you know what I mean. Yeah. Uh, a dip, slightly different phrasing, but yeah. Yeah. So anyway, she said that she did not know what it meant. She was playing GTA, and it was said in a melodic fashion. There would be so oh, long. By, by Lamar. Yeah. I know that one. Uh, so that was that situation. She wasn't even in trouble for that. Everyone kind of understood what happened and why it wasn't that big a deal. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Taiwan's what got her. Yeah. Not the fact she canonically had a detachable butt plug, Kale. <laughs> <laughs> I just killed the with that piece of information. That was like a- I fucking made the sound of like a record stopping. <laughs> I just- I just completely <laughs> floored you with that one. <laughs> That's a true fact, to the record. The tail is detachable. Si, <laughs> <See>, senor. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Oh uh, god, I... I'm not in- I'm not like into the VTuber space, but I have dipped my toes in it purely because I find it fucking funny. And because of Neurosama. Neurosama gives me fucking life. <laughs> god. The fully AI YouTuber, who also has a way too- God damn, uh, her creative and all did way too good a job fucking making her able to sing. Yeah. Like, Nowadays, pe very few people can tell her singing, vo uh, singing voice of that AI to it from an actual person's. To the point, I sent you a video of her singing once, and you did not believe it was a fucking AI. Yeah, I and mean, I to had to physically prove it. I mean, to be fair, there was also Patrick. Yeah, uh, but yeah, she she has been heavily refined recently. She's actually even better singing than when I sent you that video. She's gone through like two major updates to her singing uh, capacity, uh, programming, and stuff. Damn. Yeah, she's been, like, heavily upgraded since then. Fair enough. So, yeah, Nurosama is very cool to me, because just the fact it's it's so many versions of AI coming together to make one thing being run at once. That's really impressive. Why does he look like Yamcha? All... Hmm. Even more than normally depressed Yamcha. He looks like he just got out of a divorce, smoked a fucking pack of cigarettes, and is now just sitting on a bench somewhere, looking off into the distance, remembering what used to be. Bulma. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. God, I was railing that Bulma. But no, I was an idiot. He is not Vegeta. <laughs> I... <laughs> First I forget, of, what the fuck? Didn't the object cheat on her or something? And that's how that ended. I, 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 I actually don't know. I haven't. I, 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 I remember she was pissed at him when it ended. I just don't remember why. I don't either. I'm pretty sure he either cheated on her or got so absorbed in his fucking baseball career he just started ignoring her. Maybe both. You're probably both. Yamcha was always a bit of a prick. It's Yamcha. What do you expect? Fantastic, fantastic character. Bit of a dick. I mean, to be fair, at the same time, they always do Yamcha dirty. Yeah. 
They I'm also, also now, I've also now reminded of the fact that Krillin literally was willing to sell out everyone for some android pussy. And? Like, he wholeheartedly just went in on willingly taking the risk of possibly millions of lives for some androsy. And? It worked out. Good on him. He's getting probably uh, good meals. Of all of them, I think he technically has the healthiest marriage. I mean, yeah, he has a kid. Yeah, and... he has, like, the weirdly the healthiest marriage in all of Dragon Ball. Also, I like a lot of people don't know, like, he named his kid his ex. Yeah. Remember Launch? Nobody else does. Yeah, I do. But she just disappeared. She used to be a character. She used to be a unique I character she, I liked. She got one reference in a single episode of Super, and that was the only time she was mentioned ever after original Dragon Ball. Yeah, no, I, I kind of am upset they kind of just dropped, dumped her. Yeah, she was a cool character overall. Especially with the unique personality switching. Yeah. God, I love personality disorder characters. They're super fascinating to me because I can relate to them in the weirdest ways. Yeah. It's just, it, it's kind of weird how she works. Like, every time she sneezed. Yeah, which is interesting. Just her brain rattling around from every violent sneeze. I mean, to be fair, there's nothing in there to begin with. Exactly. Just <laughs> like you. Oh, yeah, no, once I have to get this pen working properly, uh, like, I'm just gonna be working on just making, like, anatomy, and then start with anatomy. Once I actually get that kind of nailed down, then I'll move on to, um, actual coloring. Hmm. But anatomy is my biggest hurdle. Because hmm. as long as I can do action poses, um, that's actually what I mainly need to do. Drawing's just a bonus. Yeah! But yeah, no, anatomy is what I need. Hmm. Like, it's... Oh my god, I don't know how other people oh. do it. Hmm. Okay, I, I have to share this. I forgot I had left open the Kiryu Koko uh, wiki page because I was quickly double-checking to make sure it was her about the old N-word incident. Mm -hmm. And apparently she released a piece of merchandise that was the butt plug uh, tail. Oh my fucking god. And she had to specifically inform the company that made it not to give it a rubber tip. Mm. So people wouldn't actually try to use it as a plug. Jeez. It was a stuffed, like, it was a stuffed plushie for, like, some fucking jerk shits and giggles. And apparently the original prototype the company get, uh, showed her had a rubber tip. Mm. And that was, just, that was so funny. Also, apparently she single-handedly talked the word motherfucker to just every other Hollow Live Idols. Fair enough. Yeah, that's also just very funny. Mm. See, when a guy might actually become a VTuber one day. It's it's interesting being a VTuber. The reason I want to become one is because, well, it'd be kind of cool. Plus, also, remember the song I sent you the other day, Boop Back? That was made by a VTuber. Really? Yeah, male VTuber. I forget his name, but he's he's like an actual VTuber. He's done a lot of like genuine music stuff, and that was released as a shit post. And it's mm. the single most popular thing he's ever released. Damn. It always is the shit posts that blow the fuck up. I mean, to be fair, um, what's it called your favorite Martian was the one who d started like the meme genre type seal. Yeah, sorta. He also technically started the meme review genre. Hmm. Yeah. And then he's just, be and then Ryan, uh, William J. Johnson just kind of buckled down on doing YouTube shorts about dumb, dumbass people. Yeah, that, I'm gonna be honest, he, he had a hell of a fall from grace. He's still, he, he's still decent at he least. He still exists, and he's not too bad, he's just, he's very, a lot. Mm-hmm. I don't know how else to put it. Yeah, fair. It's interesting though. Mm-hmm. Mm. Moist. Mm, critical. Charlie is really a good guy. 
Charlie is one of the first of his kind, really. Mm -hmm. And he truly is uncancelable because he's somehow just never really done anything inherently all that mad. Yep. The worst thing is, I, he, he just showed his clips. I know, right? God, I loved watching him dick slap Sneeko. Mm -hmm. That that was good shit. Mm -hmm. Fucking man talking about trying to pull up a fucking Charlie and fucking cause genuine harm. So Charlie just casually whipped out his collection of totally airsoft guns. Mm -hmm. YouTube will fuck you over if you show a real gun. Yeah, they so, did. Totally airsoft guns and a large supply of them. Did he only show off two? Well, he showed off two. He's well known to have more. Fair enough. If I recall correctly, he has like three other guns or something that he keeps just sort of for the hell of it. Fair enough. Also, one of the older YouTubers who back in the day was able to continuously get away with straight up having sex toys as props and in the background of his videos. Really? He literally had massive fucking dildos in the background of, like, his old studio. Mm. And he finally had to get rid of it all when YouTube finally was like, we're gonna start age restricting everything you ever produce if you don't fucking stop this. Fair enough. No, not fair enough. Fuck YouTube. Assholes, a lot of them. I mean, yeah. Oh, my man's the fucking SS Sniper Wolf situation. That's... Oh, yeah. Literally three years ago, she was the one who was like, Oh, saying you want five dollars from fans, and if they don't, they're poor and bad fans is wrong and dumb, and it's not taking into account people's financial situation. Now, yeah, God, she's a bitch and always has been. Yeah, uh, found out that all her gameplay videos were actually faked. Oh yeah, yeah, a lot of them were. I don't, I don't know if now she does some of her, if uh, in the later time she did some of her own or whatever the fuck. Well, no, because they, they is. So all of them were faked because it was her husband doing the gameplay, and she would just put commentate over it. I never even watched Sniper Wolf. Yeah, but no, that was basically it. So um, and then there's a the whole um court case thing or yeah going on with them. Because I go. Go ahead. No, you go. No, 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 you first. No, 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 you, you first. You first. Uh, I was gonna say, I never watched her, I always kind of thought she was a bitch who relied on the girl gamer thing, and just ran with that instead of having a unique personality of any kind. Oh, that's still the same thing. Yeah, I, I'm not surprised. Yeah. God, I'm like, trying to like, fo like follow away, um, a reference right now. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Honestly, I've just never... I haven't really been watching, like, video game YouTubers as much anymore. I've of like, Smitty and a couple others who are more comedic and just sort of showing stuff like that. I, yeah. I don't think I've watched an actual Let's Play in five years. I think the last person I watched of a Let's Play was Chicka Kong, right? Yeah, Let's Plays really aren't a thing anymore as much. Yeah. Favorite... Uh, well, I... Favorite I literally show. subscribed to Sam, who is a Let's Play YouTuber, so right. it's technically incorrect that I say that. Mm -hmm. um, favorite Basil as favorite shows. I I have not watched TV or anime in nearly a year. Uh, if you want a favorite show from me, honestly, you're gonna be hard pressed because whenever I look at modern TV and shit. I'm just like, ah, yes, uh, ads, or I could pay for Netflix, Hulu, and three other subscriptions just to get a basic fucking option set. Alternatively, just go watch high-quality, well-produced YouTube content. Yeah. Most of the time. That rem I, I just remembered I need to fucking play Paul Steve 3. <laughs> oh my god, I finally finished that Yakuza game. I still have to finish the fucking Cyberpunk DLC. Now I need to finally go and actually start playing goddamn uh Baldur's Gate 3. Hmm. Uh, God, that's so much I need to do. Yep. So many games I'm sitting on. Then I need to go play Under Rail. Under her tell me what? <laughs> Under her tell um, uh no. Uh Under Rail, fantastic game, mix of old school Fallout and fucking Metro. Fair enough. And uh, very good. It recently got a DLC that added LMGs. Um, my favorite show? Not gonna lie. 
Kirby anime. Give it Kirby right back at you. It was a fucking banger. Yep. No one can tell me otherwise. All, all the way through. I'm so pissed they took it off YouTube. There yeah. were so many uploads of that entire series, and now it's all gone. Oh, yeah, no, it had the entire series. I used to have the playlist saved. Same! <laughs> I went to watch it with Venus, and then it was gone. I like how John's avatars so always look sad. looks like he's threatening me as when he speaks. Sir, just do it one am. line. Just just one line to the cross of the roads. <laughs> uh... You where's the fucking money, bitch? Hand it over. <laughs> and yes, I know I should just do one line to cross the roads, but at the same time, it's just like this is kind of how I do it. Like I know it looks sloppy and all that, but like at the same time, I do not I have a straight hand. Sloppy toppy. Like I, my, I cannot draw like fully His straight lines. His hand is too gay. Yeah, basically, I can try and to do a straight line. Gay hands. Like I can try, Aiden, but like you know, I'm, I'm not confident with my abilities to draw straight lines. Who is? A lot of people, actually. All of my lines be gay. I guess that looks a bit better. Yes. It's more... I, I don't know art. I don't either. For some reason, I'm surrounded by artists, but I know nothing of art, and I choose to live with that. I mean, to be fair, I know nothing about art, and this is literally just me learning it. You're a 3D artist. I know, but at the same time, that's 3D, not 2D. So what you're saying is you prefer your women 2D. You mean 3D. <laughs> you're trying to learn how to love 2D women. Monica, I'll be with you soon. Uh, don't worry, I'm sure that I'm sure AI technology will get her to you soon. Definitely. Yeah, they're working on it. Fair enough. I am I have somewhat kept my finger on the pulse of AI advancements, and it's disturbing how quickly it is progressing now that everyone knows it exists. Yeah. Um, oh, here's a question. Favorite video game genre? RPG. The end. Fair enough. But then, favorite video game series? Final Fantasy. The end. Really? I, I have too much baggage stuck in that. But, uh, well... It would be between Yakuza and, uh... Ooh. Yeah, see, that's where you, you... That's where it's starting to think, like... For nostalgia, it's Final Fantasy. For favorite game series as a whole? God, this is uh, so... Th this body If is... you watch my individual favorite video game of all time, Chrono Trigger, the end. Fair enough. Yeah, I am so bad but at nobody anatomy. Nobody knows Chrono Trigger and it saddens me. I want them to do a remake of it so everyone will fucking remember it. You know, I cannot do anatomy for the life of me. Ah, uh, yes. So what is your favorite game, actually? Favorite game, game series, or genre? Uh, all of the above. So I'll start with big with genre. Genre-wise, shooters. I mainly just, most of the time when it comes to a shooter, give me a good story and I'll love the shooter. You should play Remnant from the Ashes. If... How much is that? Look it up on Steam and I'll see. Uh, the, the sequel is expensive, but I'm pretty sure the uh, original has gone down in price a fair bit. Am it's I... Dark Souls with guns. It doesn't have an enormous amount of story, but what story it does have is fairly interesting. Mm, yeah, see, that's why it's like... When it comes to stories, like, shooter it games with stories. You find its story and fill in some gaps, and it does that fairly well. Okay, I might look that one up. Also, it's gameplay. It's just really good. Okay. Um, game, favorite game series? I wanna uh, say... Okay, uh, Remnant 2 is ironically cheaper than the original right now. Jeez. Uh... Which is not anything bad about Remnant 2. Remnant 2 is actually really well... Oh, ooh, its ratings have gone down recently. Oh, what did ooh. they do? 
I still want to do the Castiano protocol, but at the same time, it's, you keep telling me the ending is paywall. Oh, what? No, uh, the... Or whatever, the... Um, Dead Space, um, ripoff. Oh, um... What? The, the protocol thing. The paywall. Oh! I, I actually... I, I don't remember the paywall or anything, I just remember mm. it was uh, the... The crazy. paywall ending. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. Uh, I know it was just generally not very good. See, I just like, I want to play it because of the Dead Space 5s. Because, fucking. So, I binged the shit out of Dead Space 1, 2, and 3. Ah, uh, the reason Remnant 2 is cheap right now is because it's on sale. Mm. For 30% off. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, the original Remnant from the Ashes. I, I have Remnant 2, I just never. <laughs> I honestly forgot I had it till right now. Oh, you actually have two. I I have Remnant and I have Remnant 2. I completely forgot I had Remnant 2 until right now. Oh my god, that's another game. Uh, no, it's alright, Aiden. Um, probably gonna wrap this... What time is it? What time? How long am I going for? Well, it's 1am for me now. So it's been about an hour and 11. Um, I've been going for a bit. Uh, this really just has been a podcast of us talking about random shit. I mean, hey, that's kind of what we're, I'm also here for. It's just to chill. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm slowly learning, but at the same time, it's just like... Oh, mm. boy. Maybe I should maybe I should write, like, a random reference I find online and, like, copy that just to, like, get a feel. I think we need to get someone in here who knows what the fuck they're doing. I know, but it's, like, hard for them to explain, that's the thing. It's not necessarily explaining. Uh, what you would need them to do is you would need to go into one of those mutual drawing apps, go into them, and let them sort of show you personally. Uh, the whiteboard. Yeah, the whiteboard. Having them, having them go into a whiteboard with you and letting them show you piece by piece and sort of help you would probably be fairly helpful, I, I would think. And then we'd probably have to do a lot of convincing for the, um, the big three, then. Because, well, one of them is not available for a bid. I mean... Yeah, I don't think we need to go too far above and beyond. You know, well, well she's unavailable for a bit. The other one is seem like having an existential crisis over something right now. Wait, which one is that one? Uh, the existential crisis. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, no, I see which one you're talking about. Yep, and then the other one's already in pain. <laughs> Oh, They've been yeah. drawing for fucking eight out. What the fuck? Oh. <laughs> Look how long they've been drawing for. Wait, who? Um, uh, me. Uh, not, not familiar. Uh, the one above Mother. Not familiar. Uh, that's Dream. Not familiar. Yeah, I know, you don't know her. I, I think I spoke to her once. Yeah, no. Ever. Um, my ex. Yeah, I, I, I remember that part. Yeah. You didn't have to mention that for your own sake. No, that's fine. I'm far past that anyways. Yeah, don't worry, we're working on this one too. Holy <laughs> Sorry, I'm having fun with this. It's like, it look like it's following my pen or my mouse. That is fair. It, it looks like it's like one of the- God, you remember the fucking old ass like Windows like screensavers? Oh yeah, yeah. Those were like God. an acid trip. So for the longest time, I, I used to have a fucking old Windows 7 computer with like a whole ass, super old school fucking power computer. It was, when you think of an old computer, you think of what I had. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was Windows 7. It had a screensaver that was like a bunch of bouncing bubbles. And mm -hmm. I never understood what the fuck the point was. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, now I have wallpaper engine, and I uh, will never show my wallpaper to anyone as long as I live. Ah, uh, you'll show me. <laughs> no. Why? Yeah, honestly, it's not even anything that weird. It's just, I don't know. It builds the mystery. What I want to see. The lady line. <laughs> mm. Hold on, let me, let me check my desktop, make sure I don't have anything incriminating. To be fair, it wouldn't show up on stream anyways. No, 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 I also don't need you seeing what I'm into. Uh, I already that... know what you're into, remember? <laughs> you know, 
Yes, you know the surface level. You don't need to know the specifics of what. Uh, actually, I could also just send you the video it's from. Fair enough. Where's the safe for work version? Where's the safe for work version? <laughs> Jesus Christ, are you that <laughs> down bed? No. Man. I have the safe for work version as my fucking thing because I find it funny. Man does not need to man does not need to even open up his incognito <laughs> mode to <laughs> I would like to clarify I have the safe for work one. I will send it to you now. Uh I'm... nope, is that gonna work? Yes, here. This is what I have. It's a takeoff on the fucking Anka zone. I have it because it's funny. Yeah, because it's from an artist I follow. Hmm. And also because, well, let's just say it's not an unpleasant sight to wake up to in the morning. Jesus Christ. I have no shame. We've established this. Fair enough. It's not that bad once you see it. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> it's all it is. It's a, this is an entirely safer work version. That's what I use as my wallpaper. You gotta hand it to me. Makes a good wallpaper. Fair enough, I guess. It's very acid trippy. At least there's no ball. Yeah, At least there's no music to it. Oh, there is in the original. This is a loop version made for wallpapers. You want the original? No. You sure? Yes. You sure? I can find it on my own. <laughs> you, you can? Yeah. Fair enough. I got my ways. <laughs> it's called Reddit. Do you want the NSFW version? No. I have the whole NSFW version on top. No. You sure? Yes. Okay. Okay, so I need to practice, like, just drawing the body itself. For a moment, I forgot where I was. <laughs> yeah. Ella, I have said nothing wrong. Yeah. We just know John is oh, into kinky God. shit. It's not even kinky, as you can attest. This is probably very vanilla, all things considered. Fair. Oh, you left basic art. You left basic doodles on my art channel. Mm. Oh, Aiden. Hmm. Okay, so that's how you do your anatomy. So you use... Hey, yo, baby, I'd like to study how you do anatomy. <laughs> Alright, Pick so... Pick up lines that probably wouldn't work. You know what, let me try that. I want to try using that technique. Oh god, I have the smoothness too high. <laughs> okay, so he said... I'm gonna try 16. I like saw a dot and I'm like, wait, is that on my screen or like on the um, <laughs> computer screen? Okay. So, let's try this. So, we'll start by copying the head, but then I'll try to so like freestyle it. God, I need to really fucking get my pen fixed after the stream. Hmm. Okay. So it's a simple line and kind of like this is like a palatogram. I can't remember what it's called. It's this shape with the torso and then lines here. God, I can't do circles for the life of me. Neither can I, for what it's worth. Yeah, no, but like, this pen, you can see where it like fuck up, fucks up. Best I could do. Okay, then. Oh, 
Okay, so the ball has to be... So maybe I gotta make the torso a lot larger. Okay, let me try that. Then. Man's built like a JoJo character. Yep. Post R5. Yep. Also known as peak male stripper vibes. Yep. I also found out the Yakuza devs apparently also made a Fist of the North Star game. A fucking a what? Fist of the North Star. That was like one of the OG animes that inspired every other anime. Hmm. Oh, oh, my one motion, Deiru? That's Fist of the North Star. Oh, really? Yeah, that's from Fist of the North Star. That's his ability. Huh, never knew. Yeah, he uh, basically hits a bunch of pressure points that makes people fucking explode before they even realize they're dead. Oh, my raw motion, Deiru. Yeah, right after he says Nani, he just fucking blows up. Fair enough. Yeah. That's Fist of the North Star. That inspired JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. It inspired parts of Dragon Ball. It inspired a lot of things. Fair enough. Yeah. What have you sent me? Yes. You get to live with us now. Have fun. Yeah, fine. Hold on. Let me grab my phone. But make sure the audio is not picked up on stream. It's copyright. Yeah, okay. I wouldn't watch it at work, but it's technically safe for work. God damn it, John. <laughs> Okay. This is the shit I get up to when you're not around. This is why I'm not supposed to be left alone for an extended period of time. And yet I've left you for many extended periods of time. Exactly, and each time I'm slightly weirder than the last. Fair enough. And tonight. Who said I was? I mean, to be fair, in just the last few days, you've been consistently learning new things about me that I've just never thought to bring up. Hmm? I mean, to be fair, just the last two times we talked alone, you've had massive revelations about my existence. Because you don't tell me this shit. To be fair, it's never really important. Yeah. These are two, uh, A, I totally forgot I'm technically an orphan, and B, I'm telling you about the friends I have made here, who are just people I casually talk to on a regular basis, is not exactly an important thing. Yeah. I mean, I could tell you about the cult I made. We already know you're part of the big, uh, thick thighs anime cult. Oh, baby, let me worship at the Shrine of them Pies. <laughs> I think that's just the plot of Take Me to Church. <laughs> Forgive me, Father, or I have sin, or... Uh, I've been a naughty girl, Daddy. Forgive, I'm sorry. For the last time, it's Forgive me, Father, I have sin. <laughs> We need to take that out of context for John and just have just him yelling. I'm that. sorry, Daddy. I've been a naughty girl for the last fucking time. It's forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. Someone needs to animate that, I swear. I, I will gladly hand over that voice clip. Yeah, no, that'd be fucking incredible. If it, uh, if... I, I, that is a stolen joke. I forget where I took that from. But it's an old fucking vine, yeah, I yeah, think. Old... No, 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 no. That's from Tumblr. That's that's old school days. I think that's Tumblr. Yeah. Yeah, it was from Tumblr. Oh god, I'm sorry, Daddy. I've been a naughty girl. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. No one uses Tumblr anymore. No, they do actually. It's made a resurgence now that Twitter's fucked. Fair enough. Yeah, it's not like a big resurgence. I feel like Tumblr is like Reddit and Twitter had a child. It's Reddit and Twitter had a child, except all of the bad parts of Tumblr left to Twitter. Yeah. So now it's actually like a really alright fucking place. Yeah, no. Pretty much just the chill people. Mm-hmm. It's, it's basically become a safe haven for like the laid-back LGBTQ community. Mm-hmm. 
And they're doing their like, best ooh. to keep it that way. Yeah, and they brought the porn back, so like everything's good on Dublin right now. God. That, that, I mean, hey, that is what technically killed Tumblr initally. Yeah. <laughs> that, I... was, that was the fucking nail in its coffin. And then they brought it back, and everyone was happy. Yep. Oh, and <laughs> for some reason the stream died. Not the stream itself, but the fucking window for it just died. Uh, if only there we go. it died. So all, if only we found out it died like 10 minutes ago. No one heard any of this. Nope, nope, it's still going. They're still... One person watching, unless that's just you. Trust me, I don't have your stream open. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm not playing a video game. Exactly. So I have no reason to. Damn, not even wanting to support me, I see how it is. My man, what's my one view gonna do for you? Everything. No. Mm. I will unsubscribe. Fair enough. Hmm. I forget that Vidal, the creator of Durasama, now has a his own VTuber model as well. Gabriel's a VTuber model as well. I know, right? I love it. It's gaming time. I love Dilf Gabriel. We don't talk about that. Yes, we do. No, we don't. Yes, we do. No, because Taco might hear. I already sent that image to Taco. I got no response. Damn. Taco really and being a dick. I'm kidding. We love Taco. Taco really being a piece of fucking human garbage that we adore. And... Cherish. I, I feel like I can hear Kai making his way over to kill us. I, I can hear him approaching rapidly. Why do I hear a I shotgun being wrecked? Why have I just been added in another server? <laughs> oh, it's just the guy who, infor who informed me of all my problems. Hmm. Yep, you know what? I think this might be a place to call it a night. Yeah, get some rest, my homie. Yeah, no, anatomy is going to take a lot more longer than I initially thought, so... You probably should have expected this if you talked to any artist ever about anatomy. Oh, I, oh, I know, it's just like, fuck, I don't, it's just, I don't even know where to start. Also, this is entirely unrelated, but would you like to see just, uh, like something fun to watch at a later date? Fuck okay, it, why not? Hold on, I, I will open it on YouTube so I can send you the proper link to some degree. Alright. Uh, this is the stream where... <laughs> to make up for what I said to you before. It's just fun. This is a good time. Alright. Okay, one. Okay, let me take a look and then we shall call it a night. Turtle. Yeah, like three minutes long, 30 seconds in is when technically the whole. Alright. Well, I guess that's that for that stream. Thank you guys for joining me and John tonight for our fiasco of. Shit show. Yeah, shit show. No, welcome to the fucking shit show. This is. This, there was no stretch to this. Maybe next time we'll have like someone on who knows what the fuck they're doing. Or we'll actually, like, yeah, we'll have someone on. Or we'll just still freestyle it, because fuck it, I... It's right, good. As if we're structuring the podcast element. Yeah, no, there is no structure to this. There's no structure. I, I literally spent half of this time just telling stories of various bullshit I've been involved in. And then, you know what? We'll, and we'll tell more stories. Like, we need to tell the story of the Terraria. Oh, God, we need to tell the homeless man story. Yeah, no, you know what? There's the a lot saga. more... There's a lot more stories planned for next the time. Homeless saga memes. So you know what? Thank you guys for watching, and we'll.